the seminar with the decompression. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side, but I just want you to know there's a backup for all the things I'm saying. Okay. First thing is this table goes down really low. All right, it's gonna go down to 20 inches. So I'm gonna bring it down all the way just so you see it. Don't put anything underneath the table. You can hear it's powered down. It'll lift 450 pounds. It'll also crush 450 pounds. It's powered down and up. So don't put the cervical harness in there or don't put any bolsters underneath there. Plus, if you do get back up and you want to adjust, it's low enough. Oh, you can adjust yeah. on here. Oh, that's good. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, this will also come up to 40 inches. So if you get to the end of the day and you're tired and don't want to bend over anymore and you're working on a neck or a knee and you're not using it for the decompression, use this because it's going to keep coming up to 40 inches. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to bend over at all. The girls are doing any physical therapy, mm -hmm. and you want to wheel it in here, and you don't want to bend over. Mm -hmm. We're still going up. That's up. We're still going 40 up. inches. Oh, wow. So now the patient's sitting here. You can work on a knee, a foot, or a neck. Fall. Well, don't fall. <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> keep from falling. But I just want you to see the range oh, right here. Okay, and it's very slow and controlled. All right. I've got the table locked with the casters right here. All you have to do to unlock it is just push it up. Mm -hmm. And you can move the table. So if you want to move it out or in or whatever, I've got one lock here, one there. There's locks on the other side. You don't need to lock all four. Mm -hmm. Just as one on each side. It's not going anywhere. Okay. On your traction head, your on-off switch is right at the end. Okay. All right. I've got it plugged in here because that was the only plug close enough. I didn't. I didn't want to stretch it there. I recommend getting a surge protector for it, and you can just get a basic one. But if you get a lightning strike which I never thought we'd have it, but this year we've actually had some storms where we had lightning. Mm -hmm. You want to have something in between the circuit and the unit. Most of the time, if it gets in here, it's just going to dump the information I've downloaded there. It's not catastrophic, but why go there? Mm -hmm. So I get a surge protector. That way, we this won't be kind of No, 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 absolutely not, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. All right, so when you turn it on, the screen scrolls 270 degrees. It's going to kind of do a quick diagnostic, and then you're going to get to your home menu, all right? And we'll talk about that in a second. A couple other things. This platform is swivel. And the reason for it is if you ever wanted to do different angles of pull, I can actually, you know, I could pull down this line. I see. I could pull across the body. So we're not going to talk about that today, mm -hmm. but I want you to know why it's there. So biomechanically, if you had someone that came... Let's use the example. If someone came intelligent like this mm -hmm. on the right side, if you had them lie down here, you could pull across the body to try to open up mm -hmm. that short side. Okay? Mm -hmm. That has nothing to do with decompression. That's just using traction to help lengthen those muscles on the short side. Who so the idea that? basically there's a little handle right here mm -hmm. and it just locks into six, seven different positions and it's spring loaded. And this platform moves. It's a friction platform. Underneath here, there's a, a um, Screw. lock nut. Oh. And it's not tightened all the way. If you tighten all the way, this wouldn't move. So mm -hmm. if it seems, it seems a little off, just push it back to center. Okay? That's why it's that way. This cord, this is your patient shutoff switch. Mm -hmm. We're going to use this when we do the setup in a second. If I hit that, it basically says the patient hit it. There's something wrong. It says patient switch has been pressed. Treatment has been terminated. You touch the screen, it'll stop. When you're done, make sure you just click it onto the mount. And the number one thing that goes wrong with this is people trip over this. Mm -hmm. It's on the floor. And if you trip over it, even though there's a grommet on here to protect it, if this gets broken, that sound will go off all the time, and you won't be able to use the unit. You'll call me in a panic and say, Doug, I can't use my unit. I keep extras of these in office so I can get it out to you in one day. You don't want to do that though, it's 125 bucks. Mm -hmm. So to avoid that ever happening, and it's only happened about four or five times in seven years, uh, is you plug it back in, but just take this cord and loop it over the back so it's not on the floor, mm -hmm. okay? One more maintenance thing. This foot switch does not have any wires in it, okay? So you don't have to worry if you see this pop off, if you trip over this. Oops. If you want to impress your friends, you want to make some money on a bet. So I can bowl on this and make this table go down. So what up? Can't go up. But it can go down. So it's all done with pneumatics. So basically there's two brass nipples here. Just put it on the one that says down. That's how it's uh, structured. 
and lined up, and then you're back in business. Okay, so don't worry about it. Something you see this off all of a sudden, it's no big deal. Okay, that's good. Now you can do it right up there, you don't have to worry about. It. Okay, <laughs> so that's kind of basically some basic stuff about the table, how far it goes up and down, power, etc. Now let's have some fun. When you first see this screen, the pump. Okay. 